When we say the words Disney World, usually the images of fun, family, and entertainment come to mind. But certainly not this. Fires do and have broke out at Disney, but often their stories get forgotten. So here are five times fire broke out at Disney. The monorail is iconic and is a Disney symbol people instantly recognize. But beyond being a cute, recognizable Disney symbol, it is a functional transit system within the Disney property. It has six stations, moves around 7,000 people per hour, and has to operate on the level of a small city transit First system. First on the scene of that deadly Disney monorail accident tonight, only on CBS 12. What he saw monorail has had its fair shares of tragedies and accidents, one that even tragically ended the life of a Disney cast member who was on the monorail as an operator. One such event also happened in 1985. It was an ordinary Thursday at Disney World, and passengers were traveling from Epcot to the Ticket and Transportation Center when fire broke out in the rear car. The South Florida Sun Sentinel published a story that featured a couple from Iowa that were in the monorail. They said when the train came to a halt, the operator told them that the train had to stop because of congestion ahead. A man in the car opened the monorail door and told the other passengers that he could see the fire and that's when people started panicking. Immediately, everyone sprung into action and they pushed the door open and stood on a window latch to get onto the roof. As this was happening, the flames began to shoot two to three feet above the monorail and were getting stronger and stronger. Eventually, everyone got onto the roof and they could see the rear car completely engulfed in flames. According to the couple, everyone thought about jumping off. An eyewitness at the scene told the news that they could see people on the roof of the monorail and they were screaming, get us out of here. People were still seen exiting the monorail onto the roof even after the flames were overtaking the back monorail car. Eventually, the Reedy Creek Fire Department showed up and rescued 240 people from the roof of the car and only a few were taken to hospital with smoke inhalation issues. The train was shut down for a total of 45 minutes and then trains were operating as normal the next day. In an investigation, it was determined that a tire had gone flat and that had caused sparks, although a spokesman from Disney seemed to disagree with this finding. And according to the news article, guests were given three-day passes to Walt Disney World. Christmas season at Walt Disney World brings guests in from all over the world hoping to get a taste of Disney magic. In December of 2021, guests were walking around Main Street when all of a the sudden they heard this sound. It's a small fire sparking a big emergency response at the Magic Kingdom. Fire trucks and ambulances could be seen making their way up Main Street USA, which caused social media to light up with tweets and videos. It was unknown what was happening and rumors were abound. Some were saying a restaurant was on fire, others were saying smoke could be seen billowing from Cinderella Castle, and guests were evacuated. According to the Orlando Sentinel, the firefighters said that the fire was called in as a junction box fire outside the castle. Once they arrived, they saw a tree on fire next to the castle. They evacuated the castle and treated a cast member. Even though the fire was small, it was alarming mostly because the fire trucks had to roll through Main Street to logistically respond. The images posted online were powerful and probably depicted something more drastic than it seemed. It's a Small World debuted at the World's Fair in 1964. At the time, animatronics were revolutionary and caught the world's imagination. After the World Fair ended, Walt Disney moved It's a Small World to Disneyland, which debuted in 1966 which was Walt's plan all along. The look of the ride from the outside is iconic, so it's hard to believe that in 2015, it almost went up in a blaze. Videos captured what appears to look like the facade of the ride engulfed in flames. The ride is Disney and quite frankly, world history. So losing it would have been a complete tragedy. The fire department arrived and quickly extinguished the flames and a Disneyland spokeswoman said that the fire occurred in a backstage area adjacent to the attraction. The facade happened to be under construction at the time and while it did not technically catch on fire it did get charred and you can see in these pictures from the Disney blog that the gold spires were scorched. The cause of the fire was thought to be from fireworks that night and Disney cast members acted swiftly and quickly to get it under control. The Festival of Fantasy Parade is a mainstay parade at Walt Disney World and it features a gorgeous Maleficent dragon that breathes fire. This is an iconic moment in the parade and it causes a lot of guests to gasp as the dragon spits fire out. In May of 2018, the parade was happening as normal when all of a sudden people started to notice something wasn't 
wasn't right. Guests captured the moment on camera exactly as it was happening. Dragons are supposed to shoot fire out of their mouths, not out of their heads. Cast members jumped in and actually got it extinguished before the fire department ever had to respond. But something interesting to note was they quickly pushed it backstage and continued the parade with the rest of the floats and guests near the end we're none the wiser. That gives true meaning to the phrase, the show must go on. Disney just doesn't have any luck with their fire-breathing dragons. From the beginning of the Fantasmic show in Disneyland, the dragon uh, has just had some trouble. So much so that according to the Attractions magazine, she's nicknamed Murphy to Disney fans, which stands for Murphy's Law, where anything that can go wrong will go wrong. In the Fantasmic show, the dragon spews fire from 45 feet up in the air down to the waters. On April 22nd, 2023, guests were in for a different kind of show. Murphy spewed out her flames as normal, but much like the dragon in the Walt Disney World Parade, the head caught on fire. The fire eventually spread and fully covered her body. The inferno rendered it unoperational and even took out some areas of the stage. Guests could see the fire happening from all over the park, including from the top of Splash Mountain, and videos were posted all over social media. As a result, Disney suspended all fire-breathing operations of its dragons, and while the fire-breathing effect has returned to Magic Kingdom, it's on the shelf at least until Labor Day of 2023 at Disneyland. One thing remains to be said about all of these fires is that cast members are incredible and they all save the day in these situations. On Earth, sometimes things do go wrong at Disney, and I've collected some of my favorite fails, malfunctions, and downright scary events that happened at Disney, and you can watch that next right here. I'll see you next time, pals.